Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about 2024 and the various uh, influences of the uh, planets transiting around the uh, zodiac in accordance with uh, your sign, I suppose, if you're watching this video. It is Gemini, the third zodiac sign, which is an air mutable sign, as we call it. So, the, th the first thing I want to mention is a very important one, really, because uh, it's very rare. It already started in 2023, from the uh, 23rd of March until the 11th of June. I'm talking about Pluto. Pluto has moved in Aquarius for a um, little while. And now it's back in Capricorn. It has retrograded in Capricorn. But it's going to move again in Aquarius early next year or in 2024. Uh, on the 20th of January, actually. And that's going to last until the 2nd of September because Pluto is still going to retrograde again. And then it will settle in uh, Aquarius uh, in uh, November, on the 20th of November 2024. And that will be for 20 years. And being Gemini or Gemini rising, you should consider this transit as being really good for you. Really good for us, I should say, because I'm a Gemini as well. And I'm looking forward to this um, transit. Pluto represents regeneration, deep transformation, the ability to sustain long, painful effort and situations as well, uh, the ability to get up, get up when you fall and to go on again, you know, so to recuperate when, you, when you're ill. So Pluto transiting in uh, Aquarius, that's here. That's going to begin on the 20th of January and it will last until the, 20th, the 2nd of September. Then it's going to start again on the 20th of November. So remember those three dates because they're quite important, really. Uh, from the 20th of January until the 2nd of September, Pluto is going to be in harmony with your sign. And that's good news because, as I said earlier on, Pluto represents um, regeneration. So during this period, which is going to last until the 2nd of September, you should be able to get something ready, to get something going for you. Uh, and if there is something that you need to do, which seems to be quite difficult, uh, go ahead. Because when actually Pluto settles in Aquarius, you're going to reap the rewards from the 20th of November onwards in 2024 until 2044, Pluto will be on your side. And being on your side, it's going to be extremely helpful in many ways because it's going to help you all the time. It's going to be there like in a, a, as a backdrop and uh, something that you can rely on without even calling on the energy of Pluto. It's just going to be there for you. Uh, so it is going to affect your metabolism. It's going to have a positive influence on your physiological body as well on, as on your psychological self. And uh, in many ways, actually, what you cannot do now, you will be able to achieve when Pluto is, uh, you know, in Aquarius for that long period, for that 20 year period from the 20th of November onwards. So that is great news, really. And there will be uh, other transits that will have an effect on that of um, of Pluto, it is Mars for one, but also Jupiter. We'll talk about Jupiter later on. But why wait, really? I'm going to talk about Jupiter now. 
Jupiter is in Taurus. So it's here right now. Uh, it's in Taurus since the uh, 16th of May, 2023. And uh, it's going to be in Taurus until the uh, 26th of May, 2024. Take note of that because that means that you are actually uh, going through a period of one year to prepare yourself for the transit of Jupiter in your sign or your ascendant, whatever. And of course, Jupiter is going to really increase your ability to achieve what you want to achieve, to progress and perhaps to succeed like you've never succeeded before. The reason is that when Jupiter transits in Gemini from the 26th of May uh, onwards in 2024 until uh, 2025, sometime in May 2025, it's going to be in accordance, in harmony with Pluto. So the energy of Pluto, which is regeneration, which is going to help you uh, sustain long effort if needed, which is going to make you stronger in many ways. Jupiter is going to enhance that. And Jupiter is going to also enhance your potential to uh, communicate with life in a very positive manner. And that's Jupiter for you. Now, Jupiter could also bring into your life something very official as, as far as the uh, notion of success, progress, you know, is concerned. So that means that Jupiter can really be your best friend during this uh, transit from the 26th of May onwards until 2025. Um, it means that if you want to get involved, for example, in a relationship, in a partnership, or in any kind of enterprise or business or project that may be so important that it's probably going to be more important than whatever you've tried to get involved in before, since the beginning of your life. Because the connection between Pluto and Jupiter in your sign and Pluto transiting in Aquarius, of course, is something exceptional, which is not going to happen again in 248 years. That is the time that Pluto takes to revolve around the zodiac. So, you know, look forward to that. And even if now, because Jupiter is in Taurus, which is the sign that precedes yours, you see, yours is the first one, because that's the one we talk about. This is the second one, third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now the twelfth sign is linked to the twelfth house, symbolically. It represents the past, but it also represents the period during which we prepare ourselves for something that is going to happen. So what is going to happen in your life? What is it that you want to uh, improve in your life so much that it is going to concern you directly, deeply, and perhaps forever. Well, it's very important. And the fact is that in this sign, uh, Taurus, Uranus is also transiting. Now, Uranus has been transiting in uh, Taurus since 2018. And I think that since 2018, because Uranus represents changes, important drastic changes that some important changes may have occurred and they may have had a link with your past or a reason to be linked to your past and whatever you've achieved in the past and whatever you you've been doing experiencing in the past as well experience is represented by uh, house 12 because it represents the past and it is in the past that things happen that teach you what life is all about. So Uranus is there 
to indicate a potential great, unique change in your life. And the reason is that it is preparing you for its transit in your sign or your ascendant, whatever is the case. Uh, so it is preparing you for a drastic, major, unique change. Uranus takes 84 years, right, to revolve around the zodiac. So when it, it gets into, when it enters in your sign, It'll be the first time in 84 years. So were you around 84 years ago or not? If you were not, it means that it is the first and probably the last time that it occurs in your life. And because Uranus represents great changes, radical, profound um, and irreversible changes, that is what is going to happen to you. And if that is what you want, in your life. That is, if that is what you uh, expect to obtain, I'm pretty sure that the transit of Jupiter linked to that of Uranus is going to have a very strong effect on that preparation for first the transit of Jupiter in your sign, then the transit of Uranus in your sign, which is going to start in 2025 but it's going to settle in your sign in 2026. And that's a very, very important transit. Probably the, the most important transit, as I said earlier, that you've ever uh, been through and had to deal with in your life. Uh, and it's a good one. So, you know, it's something to look forward to again. Now, Jupiter is going to join forces with Uranus in Taurus. And that's going to be on the 21st of April, 2024. And when that happens, it is probably indicating the change. Now, the change that is going to occur may be something that you've been going through already for quite a while and since May 2023, since around mid-May 2023, the influence of Jupiter has become stronger because it, it is there to officialize a change. So the change must be uh, taken into consideration very seriously because when Jupiter joins forces with Uranus, you will obtain some kind of satisfaction. That change that you want, even though it has something to do with the past once again, because it is in Taurus, the 12th sign from yours, even though it has something to do with the past, Uranus represents the future because it represents change. And you see, when this planet is going to transit in your sign or your ascendant, it's going to be in harmony with Pluto as well. So first, Jupiter is going to do that from uh, 26 of May 2024 until May 2025. It's going to do that. And um, it's going to be in harmony with Pluto. It's going to enhance your potential to transform and regenerate your whole life in many ways and most probably uh, in, um, in a very uh, official type of way. It has something to do with your philosophical uh, approach to life as well. It has something to do with knowledge. So you may want to uh, get involved in uh, a course of study to learn something that is going to help you achieve something very important in your life, whatever it is. It is very positive. So that's how you should, you know, sort of look at it. Uh, so that you can benefit from what Jupiter has to offer. Because every 12 years, Jupiter spends one year in your sign or your uh, rising sign. Uh, and during that year, it enhances 
your ability to achieve more. But that's without taking into consideration the transit of Pluto, because 12 years ago, Pluto was not in Aquarius and far from it. It was in Capricorn. So it has nothing to do with the potential that it offers you since uh, it is in Aquarius. And when it is, when it settles in Aquarius, Uranus is going to transit in Gemini. So the evolution that you can look forward to in 2024 is going to make waves in 2025 and 26. And then when Uranus is in Gemini, it's going to remain there for seven years. So that means that for seven years, it will be in harmony with Pluto in Aquarius. And that's really, really a good news. I would say that it is perhaps the best transits or combination of transits that you've ever um, known before. So it seems that 2024, 20, 25, 26 and onwards, you know, until perhaps the end of the transit of Pluto in Aquarius in, 2020, in 2044, that you should be quite privileged, actually, around the zodiac, probably one of the uh, signs that will benefit more from uh, the uh, positive influences of the uh, major planets, like Jupiter is the biggest one, you know, it's the one that has the strongest, uh, more powerful uh, influence. So um, let's look forward to it. And that's what I'm doing, because, you know, I'm a Gemini, so I'm looking forward to this, uh, to this combination of transits. But they're not the only transits. There is one that you should try to, well, you, I suppose that you've become accustomed to it since it began. It began in 2012. It's the transit of Neptune. See, Neptune at the moment is here in Pisces. Uh, and that has had, most probably, a kind of confusing influence. Because between Pisces and Gemini, there is what we call a discordance. So that means that Neptune has probably created a kind of foggy atmosphere or environment. It may be inside your head that you have difficulties uh, getting things quite rational. So it may be also uh, representing an influence that has had a detrimental um, relationship with your rational mind. And also it means that probably you are expecting something that is sort of still a kind of dream, a hope. You know, an ideal situation that you seem not really able to, uh, to achieve, to come to terms with and to uh, concretize. So if you cannot realize your dream, of course, it makes you a bit uh, worried, but also uh, quite disappointed with, uh, with life, with your life or, you know, although you have that intuition of what should be done, it doesn't mean that you're going to do it. You are more expecting things than really acting to achieve what you dream of, you know, what you hope for. Um, Saturn is in uh, Pisces as well. Saturn is in Pisces since uh, March this year, 2023. 7th of March, Saturn moved in uh, this sign. So, that was the first time in 29 and a half years. That's the time that Saturn takes to revolve around the zodiac. For Neptune, it's 165 years. So once Neptune has finished uh, with the transit as, uh, in, in Pisces, it's never going to come back in this sign during your lifetime, that's for sure. Mm, but still, while it is in there, 
it's a long time. It, it takes 14 years, you know, to trace it aside. So that could indicate that for 14 years, your situation is quite so-so, you know, very uncertain in, in some areas, not in all areas. But as far as your projects are concerned, which are represented by uh, House 10 in astrology, project, your status, your career, and so on, there may be an element of uncertainty which could, you know, drag you down somehow and at times make you feel quite uncomfortable and dissatisfied with your own life. But it's not going to last forever because, you know, by definition, a transit is something that passes by. It does. But it takes a long time with Neptune, of course. But you may be interested to know that it's going to end in 2025 and for sure in 2026. But Saturn is putting the pressure on there because Saturn is in, also in discordance with your sign or at least with that, that sign, Gemini. And because it is in discordance with it, it puts pressure on it and it says, well, stop dreaming now. Go forward, move forward and act according to what you want. Make the necessary effort, you know, take your responsibility and uh, as achieve something that is concrete. But Saturn is going to progressively uh, reach the position of Neptune. And luckily for you, when the conjunction is, gonna, is going to occur, it will occur in Aries, not in Pisces. And when it does in Aries, it'll be in harmony with your sign or your rising sign, whatever the case is. And of course, Neptune represents your dream or your situation at the moment, which may be so-so, as I said earlier. And Saturn is putting the pressure. Now, if you do what needs to be done, if you put up your sleeves, you know, and go to work for what you want to achieve, even though it may be a dream, it may, even though it may seem something unrealizable for many people around you, go ahead, you know, and believe in it. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dream and work for it. Because any great realization in this world has begun as a dream. The dream of someone who's put in the necessary effort and work to achieve, to realize the dream. So that's what you're going to do. That's what you will have to do. And if you do that, when Saturn and Neptune meet uh, at the very beginning in, uh, in Aries, in 2025 it's going to be uh, almost a conjunction but that's going to really happen in 2026. So it's not that far away. And um, if you are prepared to wait all that time, Saturn represents time. Give yourself time. Don't rush into what you want to achieve, you know. Give yourself time. At the moment, actually, you're quite um, favored by one transit. It's not a planet. It is an element, as we call it. I'm talking about the north lunar node and the south one, of course, because they're both uh, together. The south one is at the moment in um, Libra, and the north one is here in, uh, in Aries. So that's interesting because it indicates also that you are now going through a period when you are going to have to impose your own self and stop being dependent upon uh, a group uh, or a partnership, a relationship, whatever it is. Impose your own self. Become your own self. And because this north node is transiting your 11th house, it indicates a period which is going to last for a year and a half. It began in July this year, 2023, and it's going to last until 
uh, well, the end of 2024 and even early 2025. So that, that time that is allowed for this transit to last is interesting because the North Lunar Node represents that to which you should be tending to go in this life to improve it, to make it a better life. And that has to do with house 11, the 11th sign. And that is your social relationship, your relationship with society, how you deal with society and how you impose yourself and your ideals and, you know, what you do for other people. That is what is going to make the difference. Because across you've got the South Lunar Node, which is in house 5. And house five represents what you want to get for yourself, you know, to enjoy, uh, I would say selfishly, uh, the pleasures of life. Okay, fine, no problem. But after a while, you should understand that the more uh, personal you are, the less popular you are with other people as well. So, because the North Lunar Node is going through the 11th sign from your sign, it indicates that now the time has come for you to do something for other people. And if you've been doing a lot for other people, then it's going to increase. And what is going to happen is that you are going to be recognized for what you've done. And you'll be most probably rewarded as well. Because the North Lunar Node and South ones uh, are in harmony with Gemini. They are both in harmony with Gemini. Libra is in harmony with Gemini and Aries is in harmony with Gemini as well. So, you win. You're a winner. In 2024, you should be a winner. Now, there is Karen here in, uh, in Aries as well. And Karen represents anything that has to do with health. And health is in the 11th sign. 11th house. So it may have something to do with other people's health, maybe social health as well. If you're looking after some, someone uh, health-wise, it is going to increase and you are going to be recognized as someone who can really heal people in a way that is perhaps unusual as well. And being recognized for that uh, will, of course, attract a lot of uh, popularity and rewards as well. So 2024 and the following years as well, 2024 at least and beginning of 2025 should really be a period to look forward to because it should be quite positive for you. Not 100% of course because that is also going to depend on your life, your situation, and your state of mind as well, the way you look at life. You know, it's very important um, to have a spiritual type of uh, vision of, of what's happening in life. And also, it is dependent upon your own birth chart, naturally. So if you need more information about what I've just said, you know, according to your own personal birth chart, don't hesitate to visit our website and you will find all the necessary information uh, to obtain a, a, an answer to a question, for example, or a more in-depth uh, reading for 2024. Anyway, this is the end of this first uh, video. The next one concerns the transits of Mars. See you soon then. Thanks for watching.